hope you get that fixed for him. Good evening, Council. Um, thank you, Mr. President, for allowing us to speak. My name is Julie Brewington. I'm from Wicomico County. Um, I came out because there's a big fire issue, fire department issue here tonight. And, um, you know, the way often consensus is, is achieved is starts out by relationships. And um, that sort of greases the wheel to get agreement to things if we are respectful and kind to one another and try to listen. Um, there's not a lot of that going on in our country these days, and that brings us to the issue that a lot of people are here for, which frankly I, I feel like has hijacked the poor firemen um, who have important issues and all of us who are concerned about our houses that hopefully never burn down. I witnessed my neighbor's house burning down a few months ago, and it is, believe me, a very important issue. And I hope it's resolved for the betterment of all of us in the county. Um, so I am distressed of what I, I have a few points to be, make. I'm going to be really brief. I'm going to be a little bit different there. I couldn't hear half of what was said because we had so many people and I was out in the hallway. Um, but I see this a little bit differently. I mean, just some background on me. I, I am a daughter of the American Revolution. I had, um, I had two uh, uncles in my family that were both doctors in the uh, Civil War. Um, they both patched up soldiers on each side. They were brothers. Um, one is buried in Wilmington and one is buried in um, Snow Hill. Um, so they, they were on opposite sides of this family argument, fight, catastrophe, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it did happen. It was painful. There was a tremendous amount of bloodshed um, that happened there. Both of my ancestors survived that. Um, it cost my Confederate uncle, great great uncle, um, his livelihood basically. He came back here very poor. Um, so I understand when people talk about traitors. I want to remind you that, the, that, the, um, that George Washington at the time was considered a traitor to his country also. And we do not know the hearts of men that were before us. There is, a, there is a, what I would call a um, historical archive out there that probably nobody even paid attention to before now. But now we see waves across the country of what I see, and this is just my view, and hopefully you'll respect it. But I feel like all of a sudden I've been knocked back to, I woke up in a time capsule to the 1950s. And I feel very defensive about my own historical um, family re relationship. Um, I am also of the thought process that, you know, if you don't understand that the Civil War absolutely abolished slavery and it still exists today, what that means. And more importantly, though, I, I feel like there is, there are things that are going on that are very unseemly. And there are a lot of people who will not come out here and say what I'm saying. You know why? because they don't want to get bashed in the head by people ch chanting, no Trump, no wall, no USA at all. And that's what's going on. Because this is a political movement designed to upset people and get them fighting each other. And I don't want to fight anyone in this room. We need consensus and understanding and love and listening to one another. And you can laugh, but I don't think that's funny. I think we need more compassion and kindness and understanding. And if that sign remains or it's moved or it's taken down, it won't make any difference to anyone. It will not change your life. It doesn't offend, doesn't personally hurt anyone, you know, if you even knew it was there before. There's other markers out here. I wonder if you've read them. One of them is sponsored um, by my branch of the DAR, the, um, what is it, the Tavern. Um, and I, I would ask you to look at it um, when you go out of here tonight. But again, I also believe that if we, we are trying to whitewash things away, that we will not understand each other's personal struggles of how we got here. And the other thing, and the last thing I wanted to mention, is that all of this is misdirected. This council has no say over that sign. And we are spending time, valuable time, away from very important issues. And it doesn't belong here. So um, if you have become of the mindset that 
these folks are going to do something about it. They do not have the authority to do so. Factually incorrect. Not true. It Absolutely is true. Incorrect. Well, I will defer to counsel to answer that I, question. I won't have any more interruptions, if you don't mind. If we have any more interruptions, I'm going to have to ask you to be removed. Everyone has talked tonight, and they've been given the time to speak without interruption. If someone is not agreeing with you, and there are, there are other topics that may have been discussed where there could have been issues that were brought up that were not 100% correct. We're not here to correct people live. We allow them to speak, to, ex to exchange what their information is, to share it, Peacefully. Thank you. Thank you, John. It's called freedom of speech, by the way. And the last thing I want to say, and I'll defer to the council to answer that question if you choose to, um, about who has the authority. Uh, but the other thing I want to mention is there was a new, there was a Rasmussen poll that came out. 69% of the people in this country do not want historical archives to be removed. Um, there was one, there's been many done in Maryland. The majority of people do not want our historical archives to re be removed. The loudest, most violent, most freedom of speech shutting down people are the ones that are causing an awful lot of pain, I think. And that's just how I see it. I ask you to respect my views. Thank you very much. Good job, good job.